Hola amigos, it's Will here with another custom figure review and here with a big bad breakdown of an absolutely phenomenal set of retro superstars and here on the right we have the one and only rest in peace fantastic hall of famer jim the anvil neidhart in his white his pink his black and all oh, that crazy expression from the hasbro wrestling figurehead um absolutely love this guy it's been a pleasure to work on a commission made and uh, commissioned uh, to me by a guy called chad uh, in the United States. So thank you, Chad, for, for commissioning me to do that. And I also have a diesel here. And as you can see, this guy is so big. Um, I'll talk you through how I actually made it, all the details, but uh, give you a bit of a 360 of him. Hopefully you guys like it. A bit of clothesline action there. Um, really worked hard on both of these, and I'm so happy with how they both turned out. So I'll bring them up to the camera a little bit for you. As you can see, this big bulky guy, diesel. He's got a Papa Shango set of legs glued in place and added clay around the bottoms of the legs there, as well as the frills on the sides. Also, this was a uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine upper torso, um, sculpted on the jacket and hand-painted the diesel design there. Don't know if you can see that nicely. And here he is, staring deep into that camera. Only that look that uh, it's the actual unofficial WWE wrestling figure line that released this. I can't remember the name of the, the brand, but I think they've done a really good job on the head sculpt, completely repainted, and that's why it's turned out so nicely. So, moving on to the absolutely legendary Jim the Anvil Neidhart. Always has a special place in my heart. As you can see, here he is with a... I can't remember if this which member of Demolition this lower half was. I can't believe it was Axe or Smash. I can't quite remember. But as you can see, perfectly suited. And in my opinion, a far more classic version of the Jim the Anvil Neidhart lower half. The upper torso, all the body hair, you can probably see that there. That was made and added by myself. And uh, for most of you, you can probably tell a upper torso from a bushwhacker. And here's the head. It's the same as the Hasbro one, but actually painted properly. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. Lots of detail there, and um, I hope you guys like it. Just a couple of reflections on these. Man, Bret Hart, the Hart Foundation, you can't knock how good Jim the Anvil Neidhart's career was, especially in the classic WWE era, uh, well, WWF. Um, and, uh, yeah, for me, I don't think they ever really did a classic Jim the Anvil Neidhart figure. From all the figures I've seen, they've never really quite captured that crazy <laughs> expression from his promos that he did. And... Um, yeah, here's Diesel, just as one last look. Really, really proud of how he's turned out. And uh, as mentioned, a big thank you to a customer of mine, Chad, in the States, for allowing me to work on this set for him. Guys, I hope you've liked what you've seen in this video. I'm going to come back here, back to you in a couple of days with another one. My reflections on these two, a lot of hard work and hours went into them. You know, Diesel, for me, this should be a definitive and official figure. Look how tall he is. Look how good the realistic uh, facial expressions are. And the Jim the Anvil Neidhart, they never really did a true Hasbro one or a retro I really think this should be the version that they do. Missing the decals on him, which will be added, and I'll add that as a uh, picture for you guys into this video at some point. Guys, thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one, and thank you for watching. Take it easy.